Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna do another silo activation, only this time it's gonna be a little different. Last time we used a cement silo and connected to the ladder. This time we're gonna use a steel silo that's made out of steel, and we're gonna connect to this fill pipe that goes all along the side and up and over the top. Now this pipe is located on the west side of the silo and it is connected to the silo in various locations um, going to the top. We're gonna connect our wire right here on the bottom to the pipe. So we're curious to find out is how this pipe will interact with the silo. Will the pipe act as a uh, driven element and the silo act as the reflector whereby the radiated energy is radiated all to the west? Or will the pipe actually induce its energy onto the steel silo and the silo act as an omnidirectional uh, radiation pattern around it and will make contacts all over? That's what we're gonna find out. What do you guys think? I don't know, but uh, it's time to go find out. So let's go, come on. So as we mentioned, last time we used a cement silo. This time we're using a silo that's made out of steel. It's steel plates, they're all bolted together, and it has a glass finish on it as well. So we're kind of curious to see the comparison between a cement silo and a metal silo and see what the difference is. So we've got the wire coming out of the shack, coming up and it's alligator clipped right to the bottom of the pipe. Going on up. Okay, let's head on in the shack. Here's the setup. We got the table and the radio. And we got the Mr. Buddy heater going with some heat for us. Oh baby, there's some nice heat there. Okay, so here's the setup. I got my radio connected here to my tuner and we've got the single wire connected on the back side of the tuner going out and I've also got the ground going down to the ground and I've also got some helpers in the portable ham shack with me here. Yep. Yeah, okay. All right, you guys. Okay, so we're going to send a five watt carrier here and this like she's pretty well tuned up pretty good there. All right, Kilo Zero, Kilo Lima Bravo. I got you there, Kevin. I got you a 4747. Over. 5, 3, 8, 2, 5, 3, 6, 3, 8, 9. You're also 5, 9, and a kilowatt, 1, 2, 1, 3. 4-2, and how many watts you running over? All 10 of them. So? 5-5 five, five, Iowa, you've got 5-8 here in Central Georgia. 5-5 Iowa, 7-5, 6-5 Iowa, 5-5 Central Georgia. Okay, Kilo Zero, Kilo Lima Bravo, got you 5-1, five, 5-1 one, five, one in Southern California. Kilo Zero, 5-7 in Iowa, you are 5-9 in Kilo 299 or 6. QSL, thanks for the five five. You are five seven in Oregon, five seven. Hello, Lima Bravo. Good afternoon. You're five three five three. QSL, you're five six five six Iowa, India Alpha. QSL. Awesome. Thanks for the QRP from Iowa. That's a nice signal from up there. Well, there we have it. We made good contacts out east, southeast, south, and west, with good signal reports all the way around. So I would say that the silo radiated its energy omnidirectional, which uh, it worked pretty well. I was surprised. 
So I guess at this point, if uh, you're ever in an emergency situation and you need an antenna on the fly, you can pull in and hook up to a silo and you should be able to get out and make some contacts. So uh, it was a good experiment and I had a lot of fun doing it. I'd like to also give a shout out to all the Parks on the Air folks out there who are doing the hard work activating these parks. Without you guys out there, I wouldn't have anybody to call and these videos wouldn't be possible. So I appreciate you guys answering my call, hearing me and answering me and uh, picking me up and uh, making some contacts for me. Gives me a good uh, variety of locations to uh, make contact with on my experiments. So it works out really well. I appreciate y'all out be being out there. So that's all we have. Uh, until next time, we'll say 7-3. Thanks for watching and see you next time.